We've been in and out of the product control page a uh, couple times today. Uh, on page uh, 93 of the manual, it kind of explains uh, each of the sections on the product control page. So you got your section cals, the miscellaneous, fan calibration, uh, all that, each, each one of these box, boxes you can touch in there and it has different settings. So we've been in, into the section cals here. So if I touch into the section cals, that's where I manipulate uh, what products are associated to what sections. This, this is a global, global setting. So our section cals, the miscellaneous, uh, fan calibration, those are all kind of global settings. That's the on the Viper. Below that, where I got, uh, I'm not sure there's a little bit of a glitch because if I go down, hit OK, <coughs> shows up product one, node one. But each product one or node one, these are all this this box in here, and this this box here where it's got the valve cal, meter cal, all that, and your application type. These these three boxes are settings to that product or that meter or the bin, whatever you want to call it. So when you make a change to the cal weight in here, it's changing it to whatever product's displayed up in here. So if I want to make a change to product two, I hit the drop down, change it to product two, then I would change my cal weight or whatever I'm making changes to. So if I go into the miscellaneous, we got speed sensor, radar, uh, speed source switch box. Here's where our speed cal comes in. So a thousand is our speed cal. So if we have to use, if for some reason uh, we're not using the GPS receiver and we're using a Phoenix 10, that's where you'd change your speed cal to 785. Here's where we can put a self-test speed in. So if we want to uh, pretend that we're seating while we're standing still, we put in a self-test of five miles an hour, and then we can turn the meters on. They're going to spin as if we were going five miles an hour. You'll use self-test quite a bit. When you're testing the machines in the yard, you'll put a self-test in, turn the meters on, get them spinning. Audible alarm on or off. If I was you, I'd turn it on before you leave. Your customers can shut it off if they want. Remote master, uh, if the machine has a drill node, the remote master will be unchecked. Uh, if the machine has a Seedmaster touchscreen for controlling the drill functions, you'll want to select remote master Basically, by selecting your remote master, it's turning on this output for the master switch or remote master switch. So this this wire here gets tied to the blue wire on the seed master touch screen. And when you hit the OP switch on the seed master touch screen, it sends 12 volts to that wire so that the meters can turn on. If that OP button isn't turned on, your meters will never turn on. Pause if opener is raised. This is <clears throat> for when you're creating a flip map. So the flip map, uh, as you're, you start out on the headland and you're going and you're making that virtual line and for some reason say you plug up or have to turn out uh, and turn around to do something. When you lift the, the opener button or switch to up, it'll pause that flip, that virtual line that you're creating. So, because if it didn't pause it, it would make a big loop when you're turning around. So you want to make sure this is turned on. Next one we got there is boom capacity and that's uh, off or on and max capacity. It's got nothing to do with us. So it's in there, don't ignore it. It's one of those things. If we hit next there, 
that's where our node versions come in, so it's, that's where you can find uh, the software for the nodes.